In this lesson, we'll be installing the Apache Web Server on our instance. To do this, we'll connect via SSH. We'll launch our console with the new IP address that has been assigned to us. As usual, we'll validate. The first thing we have to do is to type in the command that you see on the screen. It will allow us to modify the rights in order to install the Apache web server. We will update the system by typing yum update minus y. It will allow us to have the latest version available on our system. Now that our system is up to date, we will clean the screen and install Ape Hatch. We then type in the command install https minus y. The minus y will allow us to not answer the installation questions. Now that the server is installed, we'll start it. To do so, you have to type in a new command, systemctl start httpd dot service. As you can see, the service has started for it to start automatically, we'll activate a patch on our system. To do so, type in the command systemctl enable httpd.service. Now to check that our system works properly, type in curl localhost 2.18. We then find ourselves with a page full of lines that's quite difficult to read. In order to console the same page on the web, we get the public address of our instance and we simply pass it on the browser on the port 80. As you can see, this takes a little time, and as we have already seen previously, it can potentially lead to a timeout. Let's check this out. We go to our security group, and here we see that only the port 22 is allowed on our instance. To be able to access our web page and server, we'll modify the group. And in the incoming rules, we'll add a new one. We already have a rule model for HTTP on port 18. So we indicate role by typing in the name of our service, a patch. Once you've done it, save the changes. Returning to the page, you'll see that the test page will indicate us that it is being used for the installation of a patch. It's meant to allow us to verify the installation of this service. Similarly, the web page informs us of the need to add content to the following element.
I empty my screen, we create an indexed page for HTML in which there will be a basic message. Hello everyone. And we have to send this message to the command slash var slash www slash html slash index dot html. Once you've confirmed the command, you can go back to your page and refresh it and you'll see the message that you've put in place. As you can see, I've made a small error. To correct it, go back to the control center. I'll remove the extra word and I'll confirm again. So we've managed to display our first web page. In order to make things more interesting, we'll modify this page and add a new message. For example, hello everyone, I am the server, and then add a variable. As you refresh the page, you'll see the new message, followed by the private IP address and the zone of our server. So today we have made our first personalized HTML page.